time, comic books have become one of the most defining American art forms. But where did they get their start? Who actually invented comic books? Let's find out on today's episode of... Colossal Question! It might seem like comic books are a modern marvel, but it turns out they trace their origins farther back than you might expect. The very first comic book ever printed was published in Europe back in 1837. Scholars say the comic book was called The Adventures of Obadiah Oldbuck, written by a Swiss author named Rudolf Topfer. It looked more like a picture book than what we think of as a classic comic, yet it's widely credited with paving the way for newspaper strips and comics which followed in its footsteps. Comic books didn't make their way to the United States until 1933. The first one was called Funnies on Parade, and it was made up entirely of reprinted newspaper comic strips of the day. It proved popular and quickly led to the publication of other newspaper comic strips in book form. As interest and demand from the public grew and grew, writers and artists started inventing characters to star in these newly popular comic books. In 1938, the golden age of comic books officially began after two friends named Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster created a new character called Superman in Action Comics number one. The popularity of Superman made the superhero the defining genre of American comic books. And other heroes soon followed. Batman debuted a year later in a 1939 issue of Detective Comics. The Flash dashed onto the scene in 1940, and Captain America, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman all joined the superhero ranks in 1941. But by the start of the 1950s, interest in superhero comic books started to decline. TV had just been invented, and people were shifting in droves from reading books and comics to watching TV instead. But by the 1960s and 70s, a new wave of superhero interest, called the Silver Age of Comic Books, swept the nation, and we've never really looked back since. Today, it's hard to imagine a movie theater or toy store not chock full of movies and toys about superheroes. And one thing seems for certain, comic book superheroes are here to stay. And now you know more about the origin of the comic book. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And remember to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.